When Google Glass went on sale to developers as a prototype last year, it gained a huge amount of attention. But once you get over the head-mounted display and the voice commands, there isn't really much to do. You can take videos and photos and do Google searches, but there's no one application that we think would make consumers go out and buy it. Thankfully, a group of young developers in London have come up with what they think is a solution. Race Yourself is a fitness app that monitors your running, cycling, even snowboarding, and then gives you a ghost replay of your previous best score. Now I've got a pair of glass here with Race Yourself installed, and we've come to Hyde Park to see what it's like. As with all Google Glass applications, development of Race Yourself is still very much a work in progress. From what I've seen so far, the app performs in a very similar way to the company's promotional video. To the right of your field of vision, there's a ghost replay of your previous best run, while the most important number is in the top left, showing how many metres behind or ahead you are from that personal best time. Along with being chased by boulders and zombies, the version of Race Yourself I played pitted my fitness against a runaway train, complete with sound effects. By adding such gamification features, Race Yourself helps to bridge the gap between exercise and fun in a way wrist-worn fitness trackers like Nike Fuel Band struggle to achieve. Race Yourself also hopes to include a number of famous athletes for users to compete against, and you'll be able to run against the ghost replays of your friends too. Google's made a good start with Glass. It's made hardware that's interesting and has um, encouraged a lot of developers to create applications for it. But it is over to those developers now to make these apps and to make reasons for people to spend money on Glass. It'll be very interesting to see where Glass goes over the next 12 months. Some people think it'll be a success, some people think it'll flop. We'll have to wait and see.